to exert influence, no matter who you are or wherever you might find yourself, to exert influence, what people are looking for in that very first millisecond of am I in the in-group or am I in the out-group is actually your warmth and your competence. Competence also written up as strength or power. And it's interesting when they do the studies, this is microseconds that it happens. Before people decide, obviously, what they think of your message or what you're bringing or the thing you want to influence, they actually decide what they think of you. They don't even realize they've decided what they think of you. They've just made this immediate brain assessment. So the type of leaders that people look to follow, they feel safe following, are what they've, in Harvard, termed the happy warrior. And these are people who project warmth consistently, and so people feel safe and warm and respectful of them, but they also project strength. They also project an air of competence. And here's just some ideas. We know with you know warmth, finding the right level, validating other people's feelings. These are some interesting ones because they are even at a micro level. It's begin to feel in command, and that's a self, self-talk and the self-work that you can do. Feel in command. Just stand up straight. If you don't feel in command, just stand up straight. Make sure you look like you're in command. Um, And then just get a hold of yourself. Stand tall, move deliberately, take your time. If you can, if there's the opportunity, just stand still when you're talking. And that again gives a real sense of strength and control and power that might be there. I thought this graph was interesting and I just uh, go through it very, very quickly here. Some longer workshops we spend more time and have you know lots of conversations on this. But I'll just give it to you an idea, give you the graph of warmth and competence. So remember that's also strength and power. So if we're talking about possibly being high on strength and power, whether it's because of the experience, length of time, organizational position, whatever it might be, if you are high on competence but low on warmth, people actually Envy is one of the words that they've used in the article. But people might be a bit jealous of you, they might be a bit dismissive of you. At best, you've got passive support. This is where people are maybe afraid of you. You think, oh, don't, you know, don't rub the numb up the wrong way, she'll have your guts for garters. Um, but there's not necessarily a warmth or respect. So what happens there? We do it Monday to Friday, but when the numb's on days off, <laughs> the, the wheels fall off. So high competence, low warmth doesn't engage people for following. What you're wanting, of course, is high competence, high warmth. This is, this is as whatever level we are in the organization. When we've got that, people admire us. So there's a deep respect and a deep admiration. And you start to get active engagement because people feel safe with me, but they also know that I know my stuff. So if that's the case, I'm going to come in and this is someone I want to tag on to and listen to and pay due regard to, if you like. The other, of course, no surprise is if we're low on competence and we're low on warmth, people just think, oh, God, difficult person. You know, we don't know what we're going to do with it. Been here for years, nothing we can... Yeah. So you've actually, people aren't going to listen to you. They're not going to respect your opinions. You're not going to get active engagement. You can actually get active harm. There. People sabotage you. Um, or at the very least, you get passive harm because you just ignored or sidelined. And interestingly enough, and I think this is an interesting one for us as nurses because on the whole, if I say so ourselves, we are warm people who like to connect and be be human. Many of us hate conflict. So if we've got high on warmth, but we are low on competence, so whether that's our technical skills, but more importantly, our sense of strength and power, then actually people pity us. So that's the on God lover. Heart of gold, beautiful person. <laughs> but, you know, God forbid she come near you with the meds. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's getting that balance. Is it making sense? Does it make, make sense? Yeah, I'm often running here, but please do jump in if you, if you understand anything. So it's getting that balance, observing myself and knowing, am I projecting, I guess, the right amount of warmth? You can connect with me, you're safe with me, I will respect you and competence. Now consider this with, your, with our patients and with their family members as well. 